Well, hello again, everybody. I am Fist25, and welcome back to yet another reshade video presented to you by Fist and Jawa Save the Universe. Today, we are here at Art Corp, and as you can see, it is daylight outside and a little cloudy. So, reshade's really not going to be super great right here. It is famously known for its MVG mode, which is what we want to show off. So I am in HDR mode right now, and let me quickly just show you what it looks like without HDR. Boom, there we go. That's To me, that's a much worse picture. It has higher gamma, and it doesn't make the brights brighter or the darks darker. This is the standard uh, setting with everything set to 50 in the graphics for Star Citizen in Alpha 3.19. Let me go ahead and put reshade back on. Boom, there we go. To me, that just looks like a much better picture. It looks like a little more of a high dynamic range and it's it's a post-processing effect. And I'm gonna show you how to use it today. So first thing we're gonna do is run that intro and then we're, I'm gonna take you up into space and show you what it looks like in a dark area. We're gonna turn on MVG mode. We're gonna turn on monochrome infrared mode and go through all the different modes that we have, even the darkened mode to help out with those really bright mining uh, areas you end up going to, like Elyria and things like that. And then we'll show you how to install it, uninstall it, modify it, and where to get it from on my Discord. So stay tuned and let's roll that intro and get the video started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we are in the darkness of space, basically. And as you can see above me, it's there, there's no sun on this side of this. What is clearly a moon below me. You might have a really hard time seeing it, depending on how dark your screen is. If we go exterior of the ship, you can see I'm definitely over something. There's some light in the background, but there's there's just not much detail. You can kind of make up some mountains. It really just depends on the screen that you're on. So I want to showcase probably the big thing for me is the MVG mode for a reshade. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit my setting to turn on MVG mode. And so for me, I set the key to alt and page down. And now you can see we're actually in MVG mode. You can see this is a, a one of the two MVG filters that I have. And this is the moon surface below me. We're actually at uh, the moon Lyria outside of our corp. I'll go into third person and show you it's tinted very green. There's not a lot of grain like you would get in real life uh, with MVG because this mode just takes out uh, the grain on this filter. You can see pretty well. Um, Go into the next uh, enhanced viewing mode for low light conditions. Uh, we go into what we have called the B team, uh, my org, uh, we call it infrared mode, but it's not really infrared because you can't see behind things. So switch on that next filter. You can see this one does have some grain to it and it kind of has that monochrome black and white look. It still retains some color like reds and blues, but not a ton. Here's the view of infrared mode uh, around the ship uh, in the exterior view. You can still see really well in this mode and some may, people may prefer this to another mode. We're gonna skip this next mode until the next until we're, we're in a bright area because that's the darkened mode and we're gonna go to the second MVG mode. Okay, so this is the second MVG mode. So we offer multiple filters with with uh, our version of reshade and our version of presets uh, thanks to uh, Mr. Boy over at Cobra Force and his team of, of making some of these presets they came out really well and so uh, some people like this version of the MVG it is a little bit more grainy than the other version um, but our, you know give the give the people more than one choice who knows what you may like and then the next version of infrared is this one. This one allows a lot more blue light through. As you can see, it's 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 a little bit brighter uh, as far as letting the blues in. Uh, this is the second infrared mode. 
you can actually see quite a bit of detail down there on the mountains if uh, the screen can make that out if it's big enough to see. Okay, and then going back into the HDR mode. So now we're in HDR. So I just kind of wanted to show that off. It's really good for seeing asteroids, for seeing surfaces of planets, uh, planets and moons and things like that. So if I was to actually go forward and go in, it'd be really hard for me to see. Even if I turn on the light on the prospector, it, it's very difficult. You can see that I'm less than 4,000 meters from the surface, even in third person. Yeah, I can see OK, but it's not really that great. Now, let me show you this HDR dark mode with the game in stock mode. So I'm going to turn off reshade and this is the game in stock. I mean, this is without any type of reshade on at all. I'll go into third person. It still looks tremendous. This game is beautiful. Um, one thing that's always drawn me in is the graphics. But <laughs> turning on reshade, boom, turn on MVG. I can see things just a little bit better. I can make out those mountain shapes in the backgrounds. If I go into infrared mode, I can see in the real bad dark even better than before. So now that my light is actually shining on these mountains, I'll go up to MVG mode. It kind of gives you that immersive feel of, of MVG, and I just have come to really like it. And we'll go back to regular HDR mode. And now that my light's shining on some of the terrain, you can see it. Much better, and I just like this view. And here is no reshade at all. And some people may prefer this. Who knows? Maybe you just don't like the reshade. So we'll turn that off and turn reshade back on now. And there we go. So let's go ahead and head out into space. We'll head out into space and we'll go to the light side of Lyria and show you kind of what the darken filter does. All right, folks. So here we are on the bright, brighter side of Lyria. And this is actually some pretty intense grays over here. Lyria is well known for being very bright. And uh, when doing mining, it's very hard to see the mining UI in Lyria. So we, we have a filter for that. Let me see if I can find any type of rock at all. All right, well, I didn't actually find a mineable rock here and could be an issue with me. I, I, I don't know the game. This game, this version of the game is extremely buggy, but there's a lot of people up there and I'm not going to go up on them on my prospector. But uh, as you can see, we're, we're up here just uh, up against a regular rock. And we're going to go ahead and pull out our mining laser. And we'll go, well, actually, I want to showcase the, the darker mode. So we'll go up against a little bit lighter of a rock. Some of you guys might may find this easy to see. Um, but Lyria has been known to have very bright whites from time to time. And one of the things we can do is actually darken up the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and cycle through my MBG and uh, my infrared filter to the darken filter. So there's MVG, there's infrared, and now here's the darken filter. And what this does is just remove some of the blues and some of the, the wider lights, some of the gamma. And it makes this bright planet of Lyria much darker, and it allows us to see the UI for the mining laser and kind of what's going on a little bit better. I could spend I could spend another half hour, an hour looking for an extremely bright area, or I can just kind of show you how the darken filter works. So this is how that works. And now it's getting even darker because the sun's probably going down. So we can go up to infrared mode, back in MBG, back in HDR, and there we go. So that may work for you. That may not. So let me try to head out into an asteroid field or something similar to that, and, and then we can show the difference here with with the different MVGs and go from there. So stay tuned. All right, folks. So out here, we're at Arc L1 right now. The light out here with the diffusion of the gas clouds and the sun being able to see everything is really nice. 
and there's other prospectors out here and we can see the asteroids pretty darn well out here so i usually don't have a complaint when i'm out here salvaging or mining however how many times have you been on the dark in a dogfight on the dark side of the moon or you're trying to mine the asteroids of yella when this you know the shadow of yella is covering up those asteroids and you can't see them that stuff happens all the time so here's another example of where MVG mode comes in. I'll go ahead and turn that on. And now you can easily, I mean, I'm explaining the benefits of MVG. Normal people know what this is. So <laughs> MVG mode on, you can kind of see everything coming at you pretty darn well. So I'll go ahead and turn on infrared mode. This again, just another mode removes a lot of the blues, greens, some of the other colors, definitely the greens. It allows you to see things kind of in black and white. The sun is just too bright. There's your dark mode. I don't recommend this in the asteroid field. And then here's our uh, HDR filter, the original HDR filter. Then our original MVG filter. And then here is the infrared filter that none of us really love, but I wanted to include it as a second option in case people want a little more color. And then back to normal reshade HDR 2.0, uh, which I like to use out here. So another good example of graphic artifacts and bugs in Star Citizen and the, <laughs> the, the benefits of using reshade. So you can kind of see the station's kind of hard to see right here. Um, yeah, it's got the red lights and stuff, but if you throw on MBG mode, it's I think it's a little more clear. You can see the silhouette of the station a little better. A, uh, infrared mode, eh, it's still kind of about the same. Definitely easier to see, though, in those two enhanced light modes. So I'm going to go ahead and land here at Arc L1, and I'm going to log off of the game, and I'm going to show you guys how to get into Reshade, where to go, where to get it, uh, what, what to... You know what to put on how you install it how you uninstall it there's a lot of issues with that some troubleshooting tips and then we'll come back in the game and i'll show you how to do the initial setup of reshade and uh then we'll come back in and i'll show you how to do all the fancy things and then you can go and get it yourself and try it out so we'll see you in just a sec all right guys so here we are back in my studio and we're going to go ahead and bring up where we're going to get reshade from. Okay, so here we are at reshade.me, or you can just go into Google and type in reshade, and, and you'll be able to find reshade. Uh, anyway, this is what the uh, beginning screen looks like here. Uh, it just says reshade advanced post processing. Anyway, it's really simple to download. <laughs> you can come here and hit download and this thing, download now, PC App Store, don't click that. That's an ad. Go down here to download. It says version 5.8 was released on April 7th, 20. Newsflash, uh, for everybody who is wondering, the version I was using in Star Citizen filming the beginning part was version 5.7. I did that on purpose so that we could actually modify Reshade and upgrade it and show you how to do that upgrade 5.7 to 5.8. So all you need here is the download reshade 5.8.0 link. You're going to click that. Boom. And it's going to download reshade right there. But let me go ahead and uh, we'll just click on it and open it. Fire it up. So right here. You can see it says reshade version 5.8.0. Select gamer application. Now, if you want to use it in a different game, feel free. But because Star Citizen is not released, it doesn't show up in this list, so you cannot wait for the S's to show up. Star Citizen's not going to show up. You have to click the Browse button on the bottom here, highlighting Browse. So click on Browse. You can see there is 5.7. I had to I had to put it in there. Um, but we're going to go to our Star Citizen folder. Now, typically, Star Citizen, if you have just a basic regular install, it's going to be C drive. Backslash C drive program files uh, slash Roberts Space Industries. These are backslashes slash Star Citizen. 
Mine just happens to be on my Z drive because it's a separate NVMe drive that I have. I call it the Z drive. That's the drive letter. Not a big deal. Just find where you have installed Star Citizen. That's important. Um, I have the Ibukata PTU live and PTU on here. If you want to use Reshade on any of those, you can, but you have to install it each time for each version because there is a different executable for each version. So that is important. If you want it on PTU, you got to install it on PTU. It's the same directories inside the folders, but you have to pick which one you want. We're going to do this on the live version. So we're going to go ahead and double click on live. Once we're in live, you can see there's the launcher EXE. Don't use that. You don't want to put it on the launcher because the launcher is, well, just the launcher. The actual executable for Star Citizen is in the binary or bin 64 folder. So double click bin 64 and there's our star citizen.exe. Now notice in this folder, I also have preset, uh, presets, presets and reshade shaders in here. Those are going to be important for the install when we do a bare install here in just a few. But right now I'm going to click on star citizen.exe and hit open. Now remember, this is an upgrade from 5.7 to 5.8 if you haven't already done that. So we're going to click next. OK, Star Citizen still uses DirectX 11. Don't use 10, they don't use 12, 9, OpenGL, none of that, or Vulkan yet. One day in the future, they will use Vulkan. But for right now, Microsoft DirectX 11, that's important. So that's the one you want to have checked with the radio button. And you hit next and notice modify, update, uninstall. We're just going to update it. So just make sure update is up, is clicked, hit next. That was it. It was that fast. This is real time. Finish, boom, done. Reshade is installed. Now let's uninstall it. All right, let me close my Google Chrome window here. Boom. Okay. I'm going to bring up a fresh file explorer window here. And I'm going to make it big so we can see all this stuff. Okay. Um, so we're going to go to Star Citizen. I have it highlighted because I'm in here all the time, but the directory, this PC game, uh, whatever your I call this uh, drive game drive. It's whatever drive you are, probably C drive program files, rubber space industry, star citizen. We're going to go into live. Now, what we're going to do right now is actually remove reshade period altogether. You don't need to do anything fancy. This is just removing it from Star Citizen. It does not remove it from anything else that you installed. We're going to go into our bin 64 folder. And if we want, we can delete all the little parts that go to it. Reshade I and I, reshade.log, reshade presets, um, all the presets, the reshade shaders, all that. We don't need to do any of that, guys. We can just delete the entire bin 64 folder. It's actually not that big. We're going to have to redownload it but it's not that big. Let's see how big it is. 311 megabytes. You should be able to download 311 megabytes in 2023 pretty darn quick. So we're just going to go to bin 64 and we're just going to hit delete. Done. That's it. We're done. It's gone. Bye bye. So what do we do now? We need to reinstall. Well, well let's let's first verify files. So we're going to go to settings in the Star Citizen launcher. We're going to hit verify. And keep an eye in these directories up here because it's going to rebuild the bin 64 folder. It's going to download the manifest. Oh, hey, what is what does Fist need? What does he not have? Let's go ahead and download this stuff. Look, there's bin 64 being rebuilt. Notice the date is 523, which is today versus when the data file was built was uh, March 20th. That's it. That's how fast it was for me. So let's go into bin 64 and here's all of our files back. Star Citizen, the executable, everything is in there. What's not in there is anything named reshade. And there's also no reshade uh, shaders or reshade presets. So before we can do the presets, we have to reinstall reshade. So we go to my downloads folder and I'm going to bring up the same thing we had up before. Reshade setup version 5.8.0. We're going to do the exact same thing we did before. We're going to hit browse. It already found it already knew the last place I was in. So but I'm going to hit it again. Star citizen uh, folder. 
go live at 64 star citizen.exe hit open i'm going to hit next it asked me once again for DirectX 10 11 12 etc hit next now it says select the preset to install notice it already installed reshade ini log and, the, and excuse me the preset ini so I'm not going to hit anything under the preset to install. I'm just literally going to hit next. It's already going to do the standard effects and sweet effects. Those are fine. You probably want those in there, even though we're not going to use a bunch of the stuff that's that's in there. That's what we're going to use. So just keep that standard as is. And uh, I'm going to hit the next key, next button. And it's going to have all these sweet FX files to install. Don't even worry about this, guys. It's fine to have them. It's probably fine not to have them, but I never done it without it. So I just hit next. And that's it. That's it. If you want to become a patron and support Reshade, do it. So now we hit finish. So now what that did is put this file up here called Reshade Shaders. In here are shaders and textures from the SweetFX group. But that's, I mean, that's all that's in there. So now I need to go. Now we're going to have to do something different. We're going to have to actually go out and get my Star Citizen presets. Some of them were helped, were tweaked by some of the people in the B team. Some of them were uh, made by Mr. Boy over the Cobra Force. But let me bring up Discord over here. Okay, so in Discord, if you're going to be new, uh, to getting the reshade from me when you first come into discord you're going to come to the start here area the screen is going to look just like this if you need the link for the discord it's in the description of the video below when you get here and i say this because i think it's important i we we definitely want more people on the b team to hang out and play uh, star citizen with if you're interested in the B, being on part of the B team or which is the org or the stream team, because we stream every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Mountain Time on YouTube and on Twitch links in the description. Um, or if you want to be part of the mining and salvage, the more relaxed stream with Java Sparky, my my, my uh, co-host and partner, my buddy, then join the Java with Java. If you want to be uh, open to more mining or things like that, there's a mining button. Space engineers is one thing that people don't play a lot right now in the org, but that's okay. If you want to use our discord for content creation and stuff, that's fine. To get into one of these areas, you need to click on these buttons down below. So for instance, uh, the Miss Prospector is for mining. The icon is up here and then the links down here. So if you want to be Java with Java, you got to click on the little cat head right there. Boom, I'm Java with Java. Same thing with B team and all the rest. Once you do that, Parts of the Discord over here will unlock for you. But you don't have to do any of that if you don't want to. If you just want the reshade stuff, then just scroll down a little bit. And right here it says reshade, controls, and configs. Under here is the reshade channel. You want to click on the reshade channel. Now when you get here, this is probably going to look a little different because I got to update it for 5.8. But 3.18, all the 3.18 versions, I have a, a link in here where you can just download Reshade. If you can't find it on the internet, boom, it's right here in Discord. This is going to be updated to 5.8 when I'm done making this video. The big thing here is that our presets are only located here in the Discord. So if you want the presets, you got to come down here. I'm not going to change the name of them. They're going to stay presets.3.18 until we upgrade the presets, put a new preset in there, something like that. If you have any presets that you want to share or any recommendations that we change the presets, I am open all ears. Let me know and we will start tweaking uh, the, the presets and add yours in or do whatever. But first thing we need to do is click on presets 3.18 right there. It's going to say, hey, it's potentially dangerous download. It's the only way it's the only place you're going to get them. So if, if you want to get my presets, you're going to have to download it from here. If you can find presets somewhere else, good luck to you. Uh, but I'm going to hit continue to download. And it's going to bring us into a I have Chrome. So this is a Chrome window and it's going to download the presets right down here on the bottom of the screen. Now I'm going to just say show in folder and I'm going to close that Chrome window. Move Discord over there. 
bring up the downloads and in the download area presets 3.18 and it's the second time i've downloaded it so that's it so what what do we do from here well we're gonna open the zip file <laughs> keep this zip file handy i'm gonna put it off to this other monitor over here and in this folder i'm gonna hit new i'm gonna hit folder and it's called new folder i'm gonna whoop, hit the microphone i'm gonna rename this folder presets that's it you don't even have to do that. You can just unzip it right to this directory if you want to. And I'll show you how to do that in a sec. But I created a folder called presets. I'm going to highlight everything in that zip file. I'm going to drag them into the presets folder and just hit continue, copy everything in there. And now we're in presets. Hey, everything's in there. You don't have to do that. You could just have the zip file up here. And you could, uh, the way I have mine set up is I right click and hold drop it over here and because I have seven zip uh, extract here do this guy and it made its own folder right here presets 318 too and I can rename that presets everything is in there you can do this a multitude of different ways if you're not familiar with Windows. so I'm going to go ahead and delete that folder I don't need two of them in there and boom there we go so everything is in the presets folder so that is how we uninstall install from scratch and and update Appreciate. So now we're going to hop into Star Citizen. I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do this while we're talking. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the game. We'll see how long this takes on my machine. And we're going to go into Star Citizen and basically set everything up. Um, how I like to set my stuff up. You can set up your stuff any way you want to. I'm going to show you my basic setup and how I kind of avoid using any keys from Star Citizen, if that makes sense, especially screenshots. Um, one rule of thumb for, for Star Citizen screenshots is notice reshade is not on in this picture, by the way. Uh, when you submit screenshots for a contest, they cannot have reshade on, so the devs usually know. And so your screenshot will be ineligible for that contest. So make sure if you're taking screenshots for a Star Citizen contest, you turn reshade off. So it sucks. OK, now here is the background screen without reshade. OK, this is the new Loreville. Up here in the top left, it says reshade 5.8.0. Visit reshade.me for updates, yada, yada, yada. Reshade is now installed successfully, press home to start the tutorial. So we're going to go ahead and hit the home key on the keyboard. It is between the insert and page up under the scroll lock. It brings up this guy. Now, if you want a tutorial on how to use reshade and things like that, well, then you can hit continue and get a tutorial. I don't think it's very good, so I'm just going to hit skip. OK, so now we're in the main reshade area, if you will. If you notice the left and right arrows for reshade preset, they don't do anything right now. That's because we haven't told reshade where our presets are located. So we need to go over here to set. We're going to skip add ons. We're going to go to settings. So first thing in settings, I like to just st start with setting my keys. So instead of home being my overlay key, I like to make it alt home. So you really just click in here. Boom, like for effect toggle, I'm just going to click in this box and I'm going to type the key on the keyboard. I like to use alt and scroll lock to turn reshade on and off. I also do uh, the next. The previous reset key for me is alt page up. The next preset key is alt page down. And then I set my print screen for reshade to alt print screen. Notice the theme here. I also change my screenshot path to uh, well, I like to keep them in just screenshots, Star Citizen uh, live and then screenshots. If you want a different path for it to save in, tell reshade. You can also uh, there's a little message that shows up, says show screenshot message. I take that off for immersion. You can also have uh, the game or I'm sorry, you can have reshade save two screenshots right here. Save separate image with overlay visible. So you can have it basically save one with reshade, one without reshade. So if you're looking to do uh, contests and things like that, 
that you can make a sound. You can do all kinds of stuff in here. Do all kinds of stuff in here. You can also set a startup preset right here with this little folder. And this is, I like to do this, uh, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And it brings up the, this little directory indicator. So we know where we installed Reshade. It's in bin 64. And then we have to go to our actual, where we installed our shaders, which is under, I'm sorry, our presets, which is under presets. Under presets, I, I numbered everything so that I can go up and down really easily. Zero is HDR plus two, the night vision two, infrared two, darken, HDR plus, night vision, and infrared. Those are the original. So I'm going to choose HDR plus two as my default preset, I guess. And that'll happen with the startup. Now, if I go back to home, nothing is still on the reshade. Oh, I actually gave that away. Nothing is on the preset right now. If I hit left and right, nothing happens. I got to go in here and tell it which preset I want to put on there. So I'm going to click where it says reshade preset. And look, another directory again. So we're, we can see already that we're in program files, Robert Space Industry, Star Citizen Live, bin 64. It's important. Go to your presets folder. I'm going to click HDR plus two INI, hit select. Boom. Now, you horeville should be able to see that Lorville is different now. It's, it's much different. Let me turn reshade off. Then reshade back on. Oh, there we go. Much darker. The blacks are blacker. Yellows are more yellow. The whites are more white. It just looks better. A little more HDR. If you want to cycle through the different shaders or different presets, I should say, you can use the left and right arrow keys at this point. So I can click right arrow. Oh, now I'm in night vision mode. I can click the right arrow again. There's infrared two mode there. And next one is darken. Next one is uh, the original HDR plus the original night vision and the original infrared mode. And then back to uh, HDR plus 2.0. So that is basically how I set up reshade in the game. You can start tweaking the different settings of all this stuff. You can uh, bring this up. You can start playing with different things in here. I, I I usually don't mess with these unless I'm actually trying to do something. I, you can put other filters on, things like that. But this is how I like my reshade. So now that I'm done with it, I don't have to worry about it. It always starts up on. But you can just turn it off. So I hold down Alt. I hit Home. Boom. The menu is gone. And now I have reshade in Star Citizen. And really, folks, that's about as complicated as it gets. So let me switch over to my hanging out. Right. There we go. So, so that is reshade in a nutshell. Um, troubleshooting with reshade. First off, I get a lot of questions that people like to ask. Does reshade affect performance in the game? As far as I have seen, and I've been using it for over two years, no. I've never had Reshade give me more or less frames depending on what preset I'm using, whether it's on or off. It's a low CPU post-processing effect, and I, I've, I've just never seen it change performance. Star Citizen has notoriously bad performance, especially since 3.18, really 3.17. If you're having performance issues in the game, especially graphically, you might want to just try turning down your graphic settings or changing to a lower resolution. That will make the game run faster. You can experiment, but reshade may change by a frame, maybe two at the tops, but I've never seen it affect my game. It only enhances my game. What are some other troubleshooting tips? I've, I've heard some people, and I'm looking at the Discord over here, there have been some issues with Reshade uh, 5.2 and 5.4, because you can use older versions. We started at this video on Reshade 5.7. Only for AMD graphics card user. I haven't heard of this happening in 5.8, but you never know. Um, and I guess this was on the AMD 6900 series card. I have an NVIDIA 3080, so I don't get those issues at AMD. Uh, but there, there are some notes in the Discord 
uh, of what to do and, get, and how to go back and get older versions of reshade in case 5.8 doesn't work. For you. Another question I get asked all the time about reshade. The CIG allow this? Is this cheating? Here, that, 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 let me answer that question two ways. One, that is a subjective term. You may think it's cheating that you can actually see things in the game that were that does not come with the game. The devs have stated that at some point they want to have different vision modes for your helmet, like MVG, infrared, thermal, things like that. That kind of tech is not in the game yet. Hopefully one day soon it will be, but it's not in the game right now. So is it cheating? No. And the reason I say no is because the devs specifically allow this reshade program to work with Star Citizen. Uh, in the old days, over a year ago, they, there was an issue with accessing the depth buffer of Star Citizen where you could see where characters or people were behind objects. Uh, CIG has turned that off when they went to easy anti-cheat. And so even though that ability exists in reshade, you can't use it in Star Citizen because it doesn't allow reshade through. Reshade is white listed for Star Citizen. The devs do not consider it cheating. They specifically, specifically allow the software to work. So if the devs don't think it's cheating, I don't think it's cheating. Do I use it when I dogfight? Yes. Do I use it when I dogfight people? Yes. Do they use it against me? Probably because I'm pretty terrible and I get killed a lot. It enhances my game. It makes it more realistic. When I don't, there's enough bugs in the game. I don't want to get killed by an asteroid that I didn't see coming. How bad are the ship's lights in the game? So there's like two ships with good lights, the Cartuol and the Pisces. That's it. If I can't see where I'm going and I'm on the dark side of a moon and there's a million asteroids around me, I need to see. So I'm going to use Reshade to turn that on. As far as the HDR mode goes, it makes the game look better to me. If you like your game with a high amount of gamma and just higher brightness, then turn off Reshade. Don't install it. I don't care. It does affect me, but I still don't think it's cheating. Um, other troubleshooting. Make sure you're in the right folder when you install Reshade. Make sure you tell Reshade where to find your presets like I showed you. Um, for screenshots, again, refer to the instructions that were just in the part of the video that was before this one, if you haven't watched that. If you have questions about Reshade, hit me up in the Discord. Almost everybody in the org uses Reshade. You can ask a question in public. You can ask it. I don't think you can post to the Reek Shade channel. Only I can post there. But uh, in the public chat, in the welcome chat, in different places, we have guys that are in the Discord all day, every day, and they use the voice channels and stuff. Hit one of them up. Uh, if they have one of the ranks on the side, like uh, captain, lieutenant, sergeant, or they're part of the B team stream team, and they're online, you could probably ask them. Uh, especially if they have an actual military rank in there. That means that I've known them for a while and I have promoted them through the org and they're, they have been around the game a little. So they kind of know what they're talking about. Or find me in the Discord and, and send me a personal message. Sing Java Sparky a message. We will get your issue figured out, hopefully. And so you'll be able to enjoy Reshade and all the benefits that it offers in Star Citizen. That's about all I have. I'm not going to do another uh, FOIP uh, outro, but I do want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you are watching this and hopefully you made it to the end, I will ask you to please like and subscribe to the channel. About 90% of our viewers have not subscribed. I know the reshade videos get thousands of, of uh, views and just hit that little subscribe button. I, we do all kinds of guides and tutorial videos. Uh, I do ship reviews like crazy. We have tour guide videos, travel guide videos, where to go, how to do things. What we don't do is news. Uh, there's enough Star Citizen news out there. So John and I kind of do something different. Uh, please feel free to join us in the Discord, join us in comms, join us in the stream. We do giveaways like four times a month, all the time. We're giving away stuff all the time. If you uh, like this video and you want to help contribute to the stream and to the org, uh, 
uh, or even just help us keep the lights on because this stuff isn't free, uh, please consider joining our Patreon, becoming a YouTube channel member, or a Twix subscriber. It, it also takes Amazon Prime subscriptions as a Twix subscriber. If you haven't used your Amazon Prime, it throws us like three bucks a month, I think, which, hey, after a while, that adds up. It's not a ton of money, and we're not looking to make a ton of money. We just want to give people content that they have questions on and that we know how to use or do. We make videos that we want to see that no one else is making. So with that, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Maybe 320 will get a reshape video. Maybe 321. Who knows? Probably something by CitizenCon. Uh, have a great day. Good night, Stanton.